Alright, so this is the U4 demo. I'm going to be doing a little mini-series on this. Uh, I'm waiting for, you know, the, the real game to come out. But seeing as this only goes for about 30 years, or at least that's what I believe it goes to, uh, 15, 20 or so, um, I'm going to be doing a quick little mini-series. It should be really short, uh, and it'll hopefully get some people oriented with the game, including myself. I have just dabbled around as Portugal and the Ottomans for less than 10 minutes so far, so this is still all really new to me. Uh, I think I might be Austria. They seem like interesting to play as. Yeah, sure, I'm going to be Austria. So as I've said, I've only played this for about 10 minutes before. So I've just familiarized myself with the menus just a little. And I have watched some other content by Quill18 on EU4. So I know how some of it works. Uh, but for now, let's take a look. Our claims in Northern Italy. Here's our missions. Uh, just like the last one, except now instead of getting a mission forced upon you, you can choose one. Which sounds great. Alright, form an alliance with Bavaria. That sounds awesome, because that'll probably be really easy to do. Uh, oh, I've never looked at this screen before. Cost military power to make... I don't know if I want to do that. I'm not really sure how any of the power things work. Like, what can I do with this military power? I'm assuming military technology? Probably. Yeah, we'll see. Uh, but for now... Alright, here. Yeah, I'm going to save that up so I can get better military technology. It's not really worth it getting a general right now. Actually... Oh, I'm at war. Alright. Let's see. What's this war looking like? Oh, so there is that. Um, the famous revolt over in Belgium. But look at this. Look at this massive army. Wow. That is way too big. We're going to have to split that up. I believe there's like a split in half. Do you have full control? No. Uh, shift. No. Um. Oh, figures. I made it too easy. Split in half. Split in half. Uh, split in half. Beautiful. We now have four armies that are roughly the same size. Uh, good. We can go over there. Hints. Yeah, we don't need you. Turn. Turn off. This is the new Holy Roman Empire screen. It's pretty similar to, be to before. It actually looks like almost identical. Shit. Uh, call for Reich's Reform. Institute Reich's Regiment. Hofgericht. Gemeiner Pfennig. Landfriede. Proclaim Erb Kaiser term. <laughs> Revoke the Privilegia. And when. No, I don't speak Latin. German's my limit. Anyway, everyone's voting for me, which is what I want. Uh, looks like I got a firm lead. The Holy Roman Empire will remain an Austrian title. Let's go look at our advisors quick. Uh, we don't want to be spending that much, because look at how expensive they can get. That's kind of insane. I mean, we're only making one buck a month. So, we're going to have to keep it low. And we have a low stability, so I'm going to choose this guy just for the stability cost modifier. Uh, this guy. We're not that big as on trade as uh, Austria. And we're right next to Venice, so it would be really hard to get into trade. So I think this is going to be more important. You know, diplomatic burden. That sounds good. Not sure what that does, but we're choosing. Next up. Uh, morale of armies, yeah. That'll be useful for us, because we're, you know, war. Um, so that's that. Okay, so maintenance and whatnot. Uh, war taxes, some more war exhaustion. However, makes the maintenance lower, which could be useful. We have, we have plenty of money for now. So, all you guys, let's go make sure that we don't lose all of our land. That sounds like a good idea. I don't like losing all my land, I don't like you guys. 
Oh, and we also have to get an alliance with Bavaria, of course. Alliance. Offer alliance. Yes, awesome, they want it. Of course they do. I'm awesome. Yeah, not Bavaria. Um, I could use to get some alliances, though. Switzerland. Sure. They could be useful. Although I believe they should have them. I think we might need to get them that. Uh, my goals for this little mini-series are kind of limited. I just want to familiarize myself with the game, as well as anyone who just wants to see EU4 early. So... I'm not going to be shooting for, you know, conquer Europe in 30 years. Uh, no. I'm just going to try to play through this pretty quickly and have some fun with it. But, as for right now... Good. Yeah, we got everything all set up. Actually, I might want to look at a trade map. This is one of the most cool part of the games, I think. Now it's not just trade centers, it's an actual trade no system, and you get to manipulate it. Not too sure how any of that works. Look. George von Schoenberg is in Wien. Vienna. Good. Alright. Um. Alright, that's not bad. Not bad. So, we have a decent size uh, center of trade here in the Wien. Uh, I mean, it's, it's really nothing compared to, say, Lubach or Venice, but it's still large enough. Three. That's almost on par with London. Uh, even... No. Oh, yeah, actually, pretty close to Sevilla. Anyway, let's get this going. Wait, how's the Holy Roman Empire look? Ooh. Ooh, look at that. Beautiful. It's all mine. Alright, let's get this going a bit. Keep it at two speed. We got our alliances. Oh. Now that we have our, our alliance, we have finished the mission. Let's go for the easy ones. Improve relations with Salzburg. Sure. Influence. Uh... Oh, right. Yes, there we are. We want to make these guys much happier. So. Do we want to... Mm, no, I don't think so. Send gift, perhaps? Oh, cool, you can choose how much you can send. That's awesome. That's something I feel like they needed a lot. Let's just send our guy there. Do we have anywhere that I can convert? Nope, we're all good. When the Reformation comes around, and we should probably actually... Yeah, we're gonna get the Reformation during this time period. Uh, I'm gonna be staying Catholic. Much easier. Ooh, we're getting casualties. Uh, one of these guys just stay behind so that they don't take as much attrition on the way. Venice was nice. Sure, buddy. Join our war. No, you want to, man. No, we don't. Neither do they. And neither do they. Fine. Oh, oh, that's cool, that's cool. Uh, it appears that they're actually a little less likely to join your war if it happened a while ago, which it did. So, since it happened a while ago, they're... They, they're not too eager to join, so you can't just say grab an alliance with France and here into the war and get him to join. It's cool. I like that. Man, this attrition's pretty bad. I need to split up my guys. And they do outnumber me. So this is gonna be a bit tricky. Uh, we should just try to gang up on the armies. And I'm... Hmm. Alright. Send everyone up to Breda. Now those guys go to Liege. Now to Breda. There. Now we're on the assault. Alright, looks like we're taking the losses here because we have the terrain disadvantage and we have a 
good at all. But we outnumber them a lot. Okay. It's not looking too bad. Their morale is terrible. Oh, perfect. We got him. Alright, we have suffered casualties, though. Uh, we're, we're gonna need a leader. We can hire a free one. Oh. Okay. Is he free? He didn't look free. Am I just dumb? Oh, you make your air. Ooh, mm, okay. Speaking of, how do you check that? Oh, jeez. They said they simplified things. I don't agree. Oh god, do they... They have the same fucking air system. That's something they really needed to change. Ugh, I hate that. There's no family tree or anything like that. Ugh, that's painful. Now you can only have one air at a time. Ugh. Alright, where are they headed? We need to chase them down. They're headed to Ghent. Actually, you know, let's split up our guys. We don't want to get attrition too bad. Alright, they were tr retreating, but... Hmm. Alright, you have... We can give you a... No, let's give you a general. Uh, you, and now go hunt down them. While I siege these places... Is the siege system the same? I mean, how's this working? It looks similar. Alright, see how's this going? They just got a really fun. Now I just got a really fun. Alright, now this is this is finished. Mm. Alright, there we go. Get him. Morale's done. There and go get them. Can we just destroy that army? Looks like we did. Cool. So let's send you back home. Actually, they're going to Brabant, so I don't want to go do that. Because I'm not going to be able to deal with that army with just this one. But if they're attacking there, they have the disadvantage, and I can come in. And we can probably win this one. Yeah, we got a round. Not good. Here we go. Again, it's beautiful. Chase him down, boys. This feels feels a lot like U3 when it comes to military. Except I like how the units move. That's something they needed to implement a while ago, but I'm happy they did it now. Haha, <laughs> they went bankrupt. It's beautiful. Also, how do I raise my stability? the only army they have left? Oh man, we got this war in the bag. Let's send those guys back to heal, and then let's keep these guys again. This war is just over. We have no chance. Ooh, Byzantine influx. The Byzantines have fallen. Well, that's... yeah. That's sad. Uh, I think they fell a little bit earlier, though. Whatever. Uh, should we let them come? Don't need their help. Ooh. 
technology cost goes down until basically the thing is over. Uh, and more prestige. However, it costs us a bit of diplomatic power and administrative power. Yeah, let him come. We got a little bit. We're not rushing for tech. Tech won't make that much of a difference in the demo. Look at that morale. Come on, just give me the seed. Should I assault it? Oh, beautiful. So it doesn't make it jump back up in morale. Okay. Good. So you get back to heal. Brabant or Flanders, you are you're dead. Give it up, man. That's stupid. They were originally revolt, if I'm correct. Uh, yet I can't offer full annexation without it being above 100% war score. That is not how it should be. Oh, you know, we just see different things. Let's just go crush our army and see what that does. Come on. Give me that. Come on. No. War goal, no goal. Okay. That's our issue. Uh, I think that just might be an, a uh, bug. Not, maybe not even a bug, but a mistake that they did. They should have given me the war goal of, say, Annex, Conqueror, whatever it is. Because this was clearly a revolution. I know there was... There were revolutions at this point in time around uh, the Belch... Belgian? Belgian area, sure. So, that's what it should have been. Ooh. Flanders will see Brabant and Twerp and renounce their claims on the moon. Man, suffers a 20. That sucks, because I should not get that. Is there no infamy in this? I want all that. Can't even get it. Okay, fingers. Definitely want that and that. It'll make stuff look better. And four. Ooh, ooh, look at that. France. No, treaties, no. It's gonna be money. Poor son of a bitch, give me all your money. Yeah, and all your cheese, Lorraine. Or I could get that. That sounds useful because, actually, let's take a look. What's their trade looking like here? Oh, come on. Trade power... Flanders is quite a bit. That could be useful. Yeah, we're gonna be doing that. Super beasts. Want those two. Look, it saved it. It saved everything. Cool. Hmm. Wouldn't be able to get Antwerp. Well... Hmm. Well, I guess we're just not getting that then. We're just gonna have to do with them revoking their cores and getting rid of that, giving us all their money, and that'll do. Awesome. Ooh, look at that. Eighteen Imperial Authority. That's right, people. You're voting for me. Or not. 
Because you're not voting for me. Probably because I have that... Uh... That whatever... Diplomatic thing. I gotta look for that. I don't know where any of that is in the menu. Uh, it's just... Rivals. No, we can select rivals. Oh, who's big? Who do I need to worry? Oh, the hung hungry and the Ottomans probably. Hungry, hungry, hungry. Uh, can I do something? The subject of Bohemia. Ooh, I need to get Bohemia then. Well, hold on a moment. Alright. Let's continue this. So, Austria. It's a thing. What was I doing? Yeah, Bohemia. I get royal marriage with them. No diplomats. Well then. Joe has uh, found his way on here. Uh, when do I get my diplomats back? Did I tell you somewhere? Uh, I'm sure it does. It's got it. Wow, my king is bad. 251. He's, he's no better. Uh, kind of would like a different type of government. Maybe like ooh, absolute monarchy. That looks delicious. Better discipline and less revolt risk. Okay. Oh, okay. Well, that's interesting. Uh, where do I get a check? Whether I, or when I get my diplomats back, probably diplomacy. Okay, you return from Flanders. All right, I have one guy in Salzburg. Salzburg that is uh getting relations up. Speaking of which, what are the relations at? Relations are at twenty six. What do I need to get them at? One hundred. Okay, that's gonna take a bit. Meanwhile, let's just try to get this royal marriage with Bohemia, which. They really don't want. They can't afford another diplomatic relation. Hmm. So. Oh, you can grant electorates now. That's awesome. Uh, form a coalition against them. That sounds delicious. But I don't have any case of spelling against them. Is there like a case of spelling map mode? Oh, look at all these map modes. Delicious. I love them. Accepted cultures, man. Well, that's cool. Trade value, supply limit, sphere of influence, and your standard ones. Uh, I don't believe there is. That sucks. Well, what are you gonna do? Oh, I wonder how's the ledger look in this? Is it, oh, it looks a lot more organized. First off, trade nodes. Do I get any graphs? I like graphs. Oh. Score over time. Oh, beautiful. You can check each individual one. Awesome. Sorry, I, I like graphs. So we're not doing anything with Bohemia for a bit. And our guys are just recouping. So let's just speed things up a bit. Flanders has entered into a coalition against us. Oh, no. Alright, who's part of their coalition? How do I check? In a coalition against Austria. Ooh. Ooh. Oh no. The mighty Flanders who went bankrupt during our war and we took half their land and destroyed all their armies and took their center of trade. Ooh, mighty Flanders. Wonder 
how do we check our, like, infamy? Because I remember it said something about that. Stability and expansion? Manage here we get none, so. Where do I see this then? Oh, production interface, that's cool. I'll tell you where it builds it. Building, manufacturing. Cool. Alright, that's something that, ne that they uh, needed. Uh. Where am I finding this? I. Man, this is hard to navigate. People are probably going to yell at me to look at the tutorial, but let's be honest. Does a real man look at the tutorial? I have never used a tutorial or anything in a Paradox game to learn it. So if I can learn Victoria 2 by myself without looking at the wiki, um, at least at first, goddamn, I can learn Europe Universalis 4 without looking at the wiki or using the tutorial. View your country. is It's got to be under here, then. We can have up to six dip diplomatic relations. Hmm. Uh. Got a truce with Hungary. And France. Oh, man. So when that truce with France is over, they're probably going to really want to kill us. Man, I, one thing I hope that they actually do in this game is I hope that Muscovy actually forms Russia. I've never seen Muscovy, unless I know someone playing them, I've never seen Muscovy form any nation. Like, I always see them just get pushed around by the Golden Horde, and the Golden Horde sticks around until the mid-1700s, at which point everything just collapses and nothing ever happens. It's terrible. Never see Russia form. I hope that happens. Okay, how do I get this damn free leader? Give me him. Give me a free one. A free leader won't cost in oh in monthly cost, so it's not free per se. Okay. Where is booty? Okay, we need eighty. Let's just speed things up. Let's see how fast this brand new processor can take us. Uh, we're not getting much money, but I'd like to gain more. So let's do that. So now we're. Gaining more money. That's good. One thing is I'd like to get more trade to go through Vienna. What can I do to do that? Um, I don't know how any of this works. Uh... sending that much to Vienna and that much to there. So, if I, like... Oh, to transfer trade power. Oh. Okay. So, instead of keeping my guy here to make money off this trade, we can send him over here to convince people to come over here. So I think exactly what I'm going to do. We'll go there in 10 days, beautiful. We also want to get more people to come here. So we're going to want to send that... I think it's a little back. A little back to massive. Perhaps if I... I need to find somewhere that has many choices. 